In this video, I will show you how to send real-time notifications using Signal R in ASP.NET web applications. So here I created this simple project that uses Razor Pages. And first, we need to create a hub that will connect the different clients. So let's create a new folder. And let's call it Hubs. Then let's create a new class. And let's call it News Hub. So here, all what we need to do is to extend the Hub class. So this Hub will manage the different connections with the different clients. Now we need to enable Signal R and we need to define a URL for this Hub. So let's go to program.cs. Then let's enable Signal R. So we need to call builder.services.addSignalR. Then we need to create an endpoint for this new hub. So just here at the end, we need to call app.maphub. And the hub that we will add is this news hub. Then let's define the URL on which this hub will be accessible. So here we have this error, we need just to add the namespace. Then let's define the URL. So here we can create the URL slash news hub, for example. Now let's write the JavaScript code that will connect to this URL. So let's go to the layout file. Let's scroll down. And here at the end, we need to add the Signal R JavaScript. So we can add this Signal R JavaScript file from the CDN, and then we can create the connection. So this connection will connect to this URL that we defined just here. Then we will listen to the notifications sent to this method. So when we receive the notifications, here, we need to display an alert. Then we can start the connection. So when we receive a notification, we can either display it on the console, but also we can display it into a bootstrap toast. So here, I will create a toast. We can create it just here. So this is a bootstrap toast having this ID, and here we have the body of the toast. So this is the ID of the body that allows us to display some message. Then let's use this toast to display the notification. So here we can create this bootstrap toast using the HTML element having this ID. And when we receive the notification, we can display it. So in the toast body, we will display the received message. And then we will display the bootstrap toast. Then let's create a new razor page that will send notifications to this method. So let's create a new page. And let's call it notifications. So in the page, we can create a simple form. So we can create this form that will be submitted using the post method. Here we have a label with the text article title. We have this input field that has the name title, and then we have the submit button. Then let's create the on post method that will receive the submitted title. So let's go to the model and let's create the on post method. So this method requires the submitted title. And to be able to send this title to the different clients, we need to request a service from the service container. So here let's create the constructor. Then let's request a service of type I have context. And we need to provide it with the hub that we created, which is news hub. Let's add the namespace. And let's save this parameter into a field. Then we can use this hub context to send the notification. 
So we can call await have context dot clients dot all. So we will send the notification to all the clients. And this is the name of the method that is used to receive the notifications. So the name is receive notification that we have here. And we will send the message new article. And this is the title that we received in this method. So the message that we have here will be used and received just here and will be displayed into the toast. So to fix this error, we need to add a sync task. So let's delete void and let's write a sync task. We can also add a link to the notifications page in the layout file. So we can copy this item. Let's paste it here. Then here we can write notifications. And the page is the notifications page. Let's run the application. So we can open four windows for the same application. Then we can go to different pages. Then let's go to the notifications page. So here we have this form. Let's provide the article title. Then let's send the notification. So here we can see that we have the notification on all the other windows. So instead of sending the notification to all the clients, in the next video I will show you how to send the notification to a given user. You can find the video link in the description.